Hello and welcome to my channel. Recently I found very interesting and uh, quite simple program for the physics simulation for robotics. I think it will be interesting for many of my viewers, so let me show you. The name of this program is Pi Bullet. Today I'm going to use this assembly which I built last time. This is a basically Jetson Nano with a power supply and with a screen. And uh, we're going to start with the installation. So I need a terminal. And with the standard installation uh, for the Jetson Nana, I already have the Python 3. So first of all, sudo apt update. Next, sudo apt upgrade. I think this can take a while. So now sudo apt install python3 pip. Now let's restart computer just in case. Now we need the terminal back. And to install the pipe bullet is just sudo pip3 install pipe bullet. And after some time it's finally installed. So let's test it. Python 3 import pipe bullet. Looks fine. For the beginning, I'm going to follow this page. This is the page of the Alexander Fabish. And uh, he wrote a really short and nice introduction to the Pi Bullet. So I'm going to follow this introduction, but I'm not gonna strictly follow this introduction. I'm gonna change it a little bit. So now let's see at the Pi Bullet itself. So I prepared for myself this file where I put all the interesting comments. So these four comments, I already did them. In these comments, I create the directory pi bullet project and I clone this uh, data to this uh, directory. And uh, this is actually the files which contain the information about uh, KUKA robot, about the links of this robot, about the joint robots and geometry of this robot. We will uh, need this uh, later. And now I can launch the Python. So it's Python 3 and uh, I can show you how to use the pipe bullet. So first of all, I would need to import the pipe bullet itself. Afterwards, I will import time and pipe bullet data. I would need the time library in order to make a delay in the program. You will see this later. So I need these three lines. And now I need to run, run the physics client. And this is basically our simulation. And here I show that I want to see the GUI for this simulation. And this is our GUI. I will show you how to use this GUI with the key J. You can take off all the menus. And also you can zoom. Zoom in, zoom out. On the trackpad it's just with the two fingers. But afterwards to rotate, you need to push control, left button of the mouse and you can rotate it. So now let's put something interesting in this GUI. I will put the terminal on the side. So with this line, I'm going to add the search path to the pipe bullet data, which we imported before. And here with this line, by bullet load URDF, I'm gonna load the plane and this is gonna be kind of ground in our simulation. So this is plane URDF and this plane contains in this library which we imported by bullet underscore data. So that's why we imported it. So we execute this command. And now you see that we have a plane, basically our ground. And so now if I will press G key, you see that all the rest is uh, disappeared and now we have only our plane and we can uh, rotate it. 
Okay, cool. Now we need to load something on this plane. And we can load our robot from this directory where we cloned the KUKA files. So for this we're gonna use again PyBullet uh, load URDF. And we have our nice robot. Again, for uh, rotate, I use control, left uh, button of the mouse, and the mouse itself. Next, we can find out some data about ro our robot. Like, for example, we can see the number of joints with the get num joints uh, command. And it shows nine joints. And basically, this is because there is seven uh, rotational joints and there is two fixed joints. We can get the position and orientation of our robot with the command get base position and orientation. And we can look at the position. So position at zero and orientation. And this orientation is actually in the Canternion. I don't even know exactly what is what is it. But uh, the good thing is that there is a commands like get Caternion from earlier and get earlier from Caternion. You can use these commands in order to transfer your angles from earlier angles to these special ones and from these special ones to the earlier angles. We will see this later. So the next thing we will see on the joint information and the command for this is get joint info. And you see all this data. So this is a joint uh, number seven. And so this is the name of this joint. Uh, it's a tool joint. So it's the end of the our robot. And there is some other data, but what kind of data it is, you can look the, at the documentation for the pie bullet. We can also get the joint positions. All the joints at zero angle for the moment. This is position in radian. We can also get the information about the link. So the command is get link state, like for example here. Okay, and now let's continue with our simulation. One of the useful things which we can add to our simulation is the gravity. And uh, for this we use uh, the command set gravity and we want a gravity on the Z axis and the gravity is 9.81 meter per second squared. And with this command set joint motor control array, I'm gonna say that I want to control the position of the joints. So with this command I want to move all seven joints at 0.2 radian. So the robot did not move yet because we put that real-time simulation at zero, set real-time simulation at zero. And with this we have the simulation only when we uh, step the simulation. So the simulation does not go with the real clock. It goes when we uh, launch the steps. I basically don't need to execute this command because uh, the real-time simulation is zero by default. So there is no real-time simulation by default. And now with this loop we can uh, make 10,000 steps and we are gonna make a step simulation in this loop and we are gonna add some delay. That's why we use the library time. And uh, we need this delay just uh, to slow it down uh, to better see what's happening. And this is gonna be fun. So we're gonna move all the joints at 0.2 radian. Go. And it falls. Nice. And why it falls? Because we did not fix the base link. Now we wanna reset our simulation. So start from the beginning. And also we want to fix the base of the robot. So to reset the simulation, we need to do the reset simulation. Afterwards, we're going to repeat, we're going to load the plane, we're going to load the robot. But this time, we're going to add this flag, use fixed base. And the 
position of the base is gonna be at zero. The gravity, real-time simulation at zero. We don't really need this line because it's by default. And we're gonna move all our joints and this time we're gonna move them at 1.5 radian. So it's around uh, 90 degrees. So copy all of this. This is our robot from the beginning. Hopefully now the base is fixed. So we can do enter and go. And it moves. Nice. Let's do this one more time. So go. Looks good. Perfect. Now one more thing which I want to test. I want to test the inverse kinematics. And for this I have this part. So here again I'm gonna reset the simulation. I'm going to load the plane, the ground. Afterwards I'm going to load the robot. Again with a fixed base. We're gonna set the gravity. The real-time simulation is zero, so no real-time. I'm gonna get the orientation, so this is just a variable. And uh, I'm gonna get it from these earlier angles. This is x, y, z earlier angles. And so I'm gonna get uh, this orientation uh, in these variables in quaternion form. And afterwards I'm going to calculate the uh, position of each joint with this command, calculate inverse kinematics. And here in this command, I'm gonna use the robot with the seven joints and I'm gonna move it at this position and at this orientation. And so uh, this command is gonna calculate this and put it in the joints. And now when I know the position of the, these joints, I can use the command set joint motor control array and move our robot to this position. And here there is a loop where all this magic is happening. So there is a step simulation and the simulation is going from one step to another step. So let's launch this. We want to move our robot at the position of 0, 0 0.1 meter on X axis, 0 0.1 meter on Y axis and 0 0.4 meters on Z axis. And the orientation should be uh, 180 degrees around X axis, 0 on Y and 0 on Z. It means that the, that the head of the robot should be uh, pointed downward. So this is our robot and, uh, and let's see how it's gonna run. And it turns the head downward. So this is, looks exactly what we wanted. It seems like it works. So if we want to move it to the position 0 0.2 meters and 0 0.2 meters. Copy this again. Go. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit farther. So it looks like it's... Uh, it's right. And so this is our robot. Thank you for watching this video. Great thanks to my patrons. Here's their names. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to support me. And see you next time.